So when we look at the differences between these two skates, we've got the SVH and we've also got the Catalyst Pros. Now both of these skates are custom skates from True, but they're constructed really, really differently. This video makes way more sense to do in the studio rather than at the rink, so let's pick up where we left off. Looking at the differences between the SVH custom skates from True and the Catalyst Pro, which are also custom skates from True. What are the differences between these two skates? What do you need to know as a player to be able to make the best decision about which one of these to pick up? Now, I feel that these both being custom, and of course, these are True's flagship skates currently, we can't talk about these before we talk about the skate just, you could say, technically kind of below the Catalyst Pros, but you'll see why that's a bit of a catch-22 in just a sec. So if I quickly switch the SVH out against these guys over here, which are the Catalyst 9 skates. Now these are actually the skates that I'm using right now and the reason I feel like they're worth mentioning is that there are a lot of similarities between these two skates. Essentially, the one piece or the monocoque construction, the shell, the boot frame of these skates is the same. Now why are these retail, why are these custom, that's what I want to touch on. But we'll start at the base and work our way upwards to figure out the differences between both of these skates. Now there's a major upgrade immediately when we look at the base of these skates and work our way upwards, that's going to be the runner. Catalyst Pros use a stainless steel runner. It's a good quality or decent grade of stainless steel, but it just doesn't compare to what you get on the Catalyst Pros, which is the DLC blade from True. Now, DLC runners are something that I'm constantly mentioning on this channel. Massive, massive major upgrades, a lot of benefits. Not only do they look nicer, but it, for me to do that is like a separate video to break down all the differences. And I'll link a video where I look at regular stainless steel and DLC steel so you can hear all the differences. But in short, better edge retention. It looks better, better glide. It's able to handle a lot more abuse on the ice. Lots of upgrades there. And of course, True allow you to be able to engrave the runners that you get with the Catalyst Pros. Now, when we work our way upwards and we look at the holders, both of these skates use the exact same holders. But when we look at the quarter packages or essentially the one piece shells, that's where things get interesting. Now, Catalyst 9s are a retail skate that anyone can walk into a store and buy. But it means the way the skate comes is the way the skate comes. You're able to make a few adjustments to it, like changing the footbed, the laces, the tongues, but that's kind of all you can do. It's a retail skate, so what you get is what you get. Now, when we look at the Catalyst Pros being custom, these are the same monocoque constructions, the same boot shells, so what makes the skate custom? With the Catalyst Pros, it's the order process that's very different here. These retail skate, you walk into a store, you buy them, you bake them, off you go on the ice. Now with the Catalyst Pros, the ordering process is very different because you have to be scanned. That scanned information, or the scanning information has to be sent to True Hockey. They then use that to 3D print a mold of your foot, and then they use the 3D mold of your foot to be able to adapt the pre-existing skate shell on the Catalyst Pros to better fit your feet. The way that's done is internally. They're able to add and subtract foams and parts of the liners to better fit the shape of your foot so you have a more custom experience in the Catalyst Pros versus the Catalyst 9s. Now, in addition to this, the Catalyst Pro shell, which we said was the same as the Catalyst 9, has incredible thermoformable properties as well as the liners and also foams inside the skate. So when you bake them and you press it to your feet, of course, you're going to get a much, much better end result. But in other words, because the foams in the Catalyst Pro are tailored to a mold of your foot using their scanning process and then that shell is adapted to fit your feet as best as true can make it, it means that the fit in the Catalyst Pros will be superior to what you experience in the Catalyst 9s. Saying that, these are the skates that I'm using right now, so the majority of people out there, this is an incredible skate to get. I just thought I'd mention that so you don't think I'm dumping too hard on the Cat 9s with the Cat Pros. Now, other areas that are different, the Catalyst 9s don't allow you to be able to select the different tongue options that you can have when you're ordering them. You get what you get. You can change them later, but that's, that's the way it is. Catalyst Pros, you can select various different tongues, and as I said, you're able to also adapt the uh, runners that you have by engraving them with whatever you want on them. But essentially, those are the major differences between these two boots. Of course, we can't forget to mention the way both of these two skates look. That's going to be a big difference as well. This is their retail skate. It has those accents of kind of like yellowy gold. And then when you look at the Catalyst Pros, it's a completely murdered out carbon black looking skate fit for pros. I feel like this is that pro look that a lot of uh, high-end players like. And that's essentially the main differences between the looks of both of these skates. 
Now looking inside the skate, of course there's going to be differences with the two footbeds that these skates feature. That is another big component as well, um, so we're not going to miss that one. And also when we look at the liners, there's a slight difference in the um, colour scheme that the liners have, but there are no major changes aside from what I mentioned about the liner and the foams being able to be adapted to your foot shape during the ordering process with the scan information. But in terms of the look, it's just a slightly different colour scheme. Now, now that we've touched on that, we can switch back to looking at the SVH custom skates against the Catalyst Pros. Now, major differences between these two skates. Now, of course, both of these skates being custom, what are the differences? It's important to mention that the construction method of this particular custom skate, the Catalyst Pros, is essentially what you'll get when you look at what custom skates are offered by other manufacturers that are out there in hockey. Now, that's that pre-existing skate shell that is adapted to fit your foot shape based on the scanning information, recreating your foot using a 3D printer to build a mold of your foot, and then that is used to adapt the liners and the foams inside the pre-existing skate shell to better fit your feet. That's how the Catalyst Pros are constructed, and that's how essentially the the other custom skates from the other manufacturers that are out there are also constructed. Now, when we look at the SVH, these being custom as well, that's the word that gets thrown around in hockey all of the time. How does it differ from these over here? The SVH uses a construction method that does not exist anywhere else in hockey in terms of the manufacturers that are currently out there providing skates globally to date. These are not an existing skate shell that is adapted to your foot. It uses the same process where you go into a retail store that sells True and you have your foot scanned, that goes to True, they build a mold of your foot, but differently to the Catalyst Pros, once you, the mold of your foot has been created in True's lab, they then layer by layer construct the skate from the inside out around the mold of your foot. They are literally layering on each layer of material and working their way from the inside all the way out. That's the liners, the foams, even the carbon fiber itself is not a pre-existing shell. It is layered on. I can't express or stress that enough. It is a completely different construction method than what we see with any other custom skate in hockey to date. The way that affects the end result Number one is going to be no two true custom skates are going to be 100% the same because they are handmade, as opposed to this construction method over here with the Catalyst Pros, which is mainly machine made with that pre existing skate shell. With the SVH, the end result means that you're going to have the most precise fitting custom skate that you can get in hockey to date. And that's a big, big statement to say, but it's plain and simply the truth based on the construction method that these skates use. You can even see it if you look at the shell of the carbon fiber itself, the patterning, the weave. You can see that it's not as precise in terms of the weaving itself. It's not as refined is probably a better word to use than what you see in the Catalyst Pros. It's because it's hand layered and it has a lot more bumps and weird shapes and patterns and doesn't look retail, if you know what I mean. That's because my foot is not a perfect shape. My foot has weird bumps, weird grooves from the years of skateboarding, longboarding and playing hockey. My feet have been through a lot of abuse and that's reflected in the shape of my feet, which you can see in the carbon fiber patterning itself. It has a lot more bumps and grooves and weird shapes that you just don't see in the Catalyst Pros. Even if we turn over the base of the skate where the outsole would traditionally be, with these particular skates over here, the outsole isn't even flat. It sits kind of like off center. It's at an angle, which matches my feet. If I get both of my SVH custom skates and put them together, they don't look identical to each other because my feet aren't identical to each other. That's the best way that I can explain it. The construction of these skates is completely precise and custom as opposed to what you get with a pre-existing skate shell that's being adapted to fit a foot shape. This is something completely different. Now, aside from it providing you with the most precise custom fitting skate that you can get, there are a lot of changes that you're able to make during the ordering process. For example, during the layering of the carbon fiber, True can add strategically placed extra carbon fiber inserts to beef the skate up so not only it's stiffer, but so it can also help you to block shots and avoid stick slashes and getting your feet hurt, sustaining injury while playing the game. This isn't something that I did myself because these skates are stiff enough as it is, which is another thing we have to mention that the SVH is going to be stiffer than what you see in the uh, Catalyst Pros. But you're able to adapt the stiffness of these boots. You can make them stiffer. You can add inserts to protect against shots. There's a lot of changes that you can make. In addition to this, you're able to also alter the boot cut and shape. So for example, if you want the neck of the skate to go higher, the height of the boot can be changed. Where the eyelet positioning is and how much volume the skate has over here, that can be opened up and 
more material and carbon fiber can be added there to completely alter the shape of the skate. If you look at it from the top down, the way the skate looks like this, if you wanted it to be asymmetrical, so one side kind of punches out a little bit more, you're able to make all of these changes during the ordering process of the SVH skates because they are made, unlike the, the Catalyst Pro skates, the SVH skates are made from scratch, layer by layer, from the inside out, which means that you're essentially able to make whatever changes are necessary to be able to aid your performance on the ice, of course, within reason, but you you just have so much more freedom with this skate because it's made from scratch. And there is nothing currently that compares to the options that this skate can provide a player with right now when this video is being filmed. Now, in addition to this, of course, you have your choice with liners as well. Again, unlike the Catalyst Pros, you can select two different liners based on what type of liner you like. If you like one that essentially wicks in all the moisture and keeps it away from your feet, or if you prefer a liner that filters all of the moisture out and through the perforations or holes at the base of the skate, you're able to do that. You can select different stiffnesses with tendons. And of course, similar to the Catalyst Pro Skates, you're also able to select from a wide variety of different tongues based on if you're trying to add more volume, more protection, you want a thicker one, a thinner one, based on what type of comfort, what type of player that you are. So with the SVH Custom Skates from True, the options during the ordering process are insane. Hopefully you're able to see what I mean about the weave of the carbon fiber. You can see on the Catalyst Pros, it just looks a lot more plush. It looks more kind of like refined. It looks a lot more retail, more pretty. But when we look at it compared to what you see on the SVH, you can see this one looks completely different. It being hand layered is very, very clear on this. And of course, the different alterations that are able to be made during the construction process of this skate, extra strategically placed carbon inserts to protect you on the ice better. You can see that the carbon weave looks very different on these skates over here, but this isn't something that affects the performance of it. It's just something that affects it from an aesthetical perspective. It's just the way that it looks. But when you understand the fact that these are handmade and hand layered around a mold of your foot, rather than a pre-existing skate shell, you understand why the weave looks a little bit different. But this isn't any way something that inhibits the skate's durability performance, its life length. This is just because it's hand layered. And of course they're doing a lot of different things in terms of where they're placing carbon inserts based on my requests. When we look at the SVH versus the Catalyst Pros. So what other changes do you feel when you're on the ice with these two boots? Because of that construction method that we explained with these skates where each material is layered onto a mold of your foot and it provides you with that extremely precise custom fitting skate. It means that the wrapping of these skates, the way that the top of the skate wraps around the top of your foot, the way that every part of the liner inside the boot is in contact with your feet, you have incredible heel lock, this skate essentially when you put it on the ice feels like an extension of your foot. The only time that I've ever experienced this at a retail level, if I go back, was when I moved from a pair of Mission Fuel 85s to the Eastern Mako skates. That's the transition that made me go, whoa, these feel unlike any other skate that I've worn and that's exactly what you have with the SVH here. These do not feel like any other skate that I've ever worn. The amount of contact that you have with the body of the skate in terms of the liners and your foot, the way it locks your feet in comfortably, not tightly, but just snug, it really does mean that this skate feels like an extension of your foot rather than a piece of equipment that you're putting on to do a job, which is a major, major difference. That's, for me, the big difference between these two skates over here. In addition to this, it's also going to be the weight. Because of all of the options that you have with the SVH, of course that comes at a compromise. There is going to be a little bit more of a weight increase if we were to VS the SVH when you've added on all of these different carbon fiber inserts, you've gone from asymmetrical skate or boot cut. All of these mean more carbon, more material, so the skate will have a slightly higher weight than what you see with the Catalyst Pros. The Catalyst Pros are going to have more of a feel that we're traditionally used to experiencing if we think about some of the other custom skates that we've had on the channel before, this is going to be that light pro custom skate that you can pick up, which is going to be easily comparable to some of the other skates out there in terms of its performance and its weight. But of course, because of how thermoformable skates from True are, there is going to be a difference in the fit of these skates. Even though it's a pre-existing skate shell, they fit incredibly well. But that fit from these skates, as amazing as it is, and I mentioned I'm actually using the Cat 9s, the fit of these is just very difficult to compare to these because this, it just doesn't fit like a hockey skate. It's something completely different. So if you had to summarize, say five of the biggest changes between the Cat 9s and the SVH, what are they? Kind of putting you on the spot, top five things. Top five things, without a doubt one, is the stiffness and comfort of the boot. That's two, so I said one, but that's two. Comfort, stiffness, hands down, you know, just two of, two of the main big differences you feel when you put these on compared 
to the Cat 9s. Next three? Next three, I definitely would say the actual build around your foot. You can really feel that when you put these on compared to those. Obviously these are a retail pair of skates. The Cat 9s are retail. You buy them just like from any other store. They're just like any other pair of retail skates, you know? You can go to say, I don't know, any store, wherever you are, whether that be in the UK or somewhere else, um, and just pick these up. Whereas these, you have to do a scan, you have to do all these little pictures. It, it was a long process. Chris had to do it like four times because he couldn't do it properly. <laughs> but you had a, a lot of selection options. There's a lot of selection options. And you can definitely feel that when you put your foot in there, you're like, oh. Okay, so the build, that's... It's like, like a pair of slippers almost. That's number three? Number three. Definitely the protectiveness. Protectiveness, is that even a word? Yeah. <laughs> the protectiveness, how well these protect your foot. Like puck shot slashes. Anything, you don't even feel it. Like I remember the first day I got on the ice, one of my teammates decided to slash me in the tongues and I was like, I didn't even feel it. It was all I didn't, what was that? Okay, um, more. That, that's a fourth one, now there's one more. <laughs> one more. The design, I'm sorry. I really don't like the design of the Cat 9s. I, I'm not a fan of this either. I'm not a fan of this design either, but, but it's, it's just way better than those. In my opinion, I really, really do not like that design. I don't know what they were thinking with the silver, yellow. They're horrible. I don't like the design. The boot is lovely. The design is terrible. Okay, fair play, man. And you know what? I will say it. I am happy to put up with the design because of how well these boots perform. I've said it in every single video we've done. For a pair of skates to get me out of these, they're gonna to need to be one hell of a skate. But essentially these are the main differences between these two skates over here. There is a lot of them. At a glance, it looks like this is just one line and this is another line similar to other manufacturers that are out there where one's aimed at agility, one's aimed at power, for example, but there are very significant differences with these skates. And of course they are aimed at different players, depending on what requirements you have, how in depth you need to go with the custom process. That's what these bad boys are here for. And then of course you have these over here, which are gonna be easily comparable to any high performance custom skate that is out there currently from the other manufacturers. But hopefully this video has helped to clear up the differences between these two boots, because there is a lot. Um, if you have any questions about these two skates, please comment down below. Of course, I know you guys are gonna be hammering me in the comment section to go SVH versus the other manufacturers that are out there in terms of the custom skates. And we will be doing that. We'll start with CCM, and then we'll also look at Bauer as well. So stay tuned for that video. But as always guys, big thank you for watching this all the way to the end. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.